A quick disclaimer before we get on with today's commentary. This episode of Realizing Reality is not in any way, shape, or form meant to prove or disprove the existence of God and is not meant to disrespect any religious beliefs for anyone. If you would like to take part of this discussion, then you may do so respectfully in the comments down below. Any hate that is shown in the comments or any sort of disrespect is subject to deletion. Now, on with the commentary. Yes. What is up everybody, this is Lowoolly618 and today I am bringing you guys another episode of Realizing Reality, the show where I take a topic and I kind of try to put, you know, the reality back into what is going on. And this one is kind of... This one's kind of going to be trending on a lot of toes, and I almost did not even record it. Um, I'm actually kind of trying on my own toes a little bit here, um, because we're talking about an article that says there's scientific proof that God exists. Um, and I do believe that there is a God, and I do believe in the Christian principle. I'm not a religious person. I don't practice any religion officially. Um... You know, it's something that, you know, it's never really been done um, for me. Um, it's something I've never really been, I guess, interested in, would be the, how to phrase that. But this article, it caught my eye as I was surfing the internet last night. And it was on uh, MSN.com, or it be a couple of nights ago for you guys, but... A couple nights ago, I ran into this article, and it said that two um, German scientists in Berlin, a computer scientist, um, proved what they said in the article was decades old, but I'm pretty sure this is a centuries old theory, um, called the Godel's ontological proof. And basically, the way they sum it up is, quote, God, by definition is that for which no greater can be conceived. God exists in the understanding. If God exists in the understanding, we can imagine him to be greater by existing in reality. Therefore, God must exist. End quote. Now, that it's, it's pretty complicated. Um, it's n something that is a mathematical theory it's a mathematical proof um it's something that is be, has been tried to be tested for years um these computer scientists i guess used computer programs to actually do the mathematical comp uh complicated mathematical equations supposedly to do it um and they Get, they supposedly proved that God exists from using this computer program. And, you know, this kind of irked me a little bit because even though I do believe in God, I don't think this actually proves that God exists. And you can actually see in some of the comments that are in this article, which, by the way, will be linked in the description, that there's a lot of people that believe in God but don't believe them for this reason. That, you know, they even think logically and say, you know, that the... that the proof is flawed. Um, and, you know, this is kind of a weird sort of thing to talk about. Because, you know, to be honest, I don't think this proves anything. I think this is just a theory. It hasn't been peer-reviewed yet, so it's not something that is proven just yet. And I would like to actually see the actual research um, article that, this, uh, not, that the uh, journalist wrote from. Because I think that there might have been some flaws in this press release. And what I mean by that is that, you know, when journalists, um, particularly with science, catch this kind of stuff, they don't necessarily make the right conclusions with it. Um, to give you an example, um, you know, they could do an article saying that you know, scientists have proven that this illness does this, when in reality, that illness doesn't do anything that the press release says. Um, that it's kind of something that, you know, 
that most journalists don't really have that depth of a science knowledge, and they misinterpret the results. Um, and they do it so quickly to get the story out there that you know they don't read the fine detail and they don't look at the um, test results or anything, and you know they just go in a hurry and they could have the um, actual answer completely wrong. They could go in the total opposite direction. And then, you know, also, there's always human error in science. You can't 100% prove anything in science. You can always have theories that do have some explanation. Um, you know, and sometimes, you know, these things can be manipulated. Though something like proving God exists could easily be manipulated if the two scientists that are in this article would, were intentionally trying to prove that God exists. Um... A good example of, you know, leaving out parts um, to make sure that the report says that God exists, that's saying that this happens because of this. Um, a good example of that would be um, there was a study by, I believe, the EPA or the FDA that said that secondhand smoke causes cancer and blah, 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 blah. You know, all these diseases that you hear about. And, you know, that a year or two after that report, Report was published by the uh, agency. The Supreme Court ruled that they false that they there were false practices whenever they made that report. That they had intentionally left stuff out of the report. That they had, in a way, manipulated the report to make sure that they said that secondhand smoke kills people. And, you know, since then there have been a lot of studies on secondhand smoke, and, you know, there's really no definitive proof that secondhand smoke kills. And I think that's, that could be what happened here. I'm not saying it did, but there could be a possibility that these two scientists could have manipulated the system to make it seem like God was proven to exist by science. Now, that is what could happen until this goes under peer review and until this is actually you know generally accepted by the scientific community which i don't know if it will be or not you know it's just a theory and you know this i feel like i read this and i really thought of you know you you've heard the theory that you know there's that because of the millions and millions and billions and trillions of planets and galaxies that are out in the universe that there's got to be at least one more planet that is like Earth and has living beings on it. You know, I feel like it's kind of under that same category. Um, I feel like it's under that same category, you know. There's always a possibility, but, you know, that doesn't mean that it's 100% proven that, you know, any be beings or, in this case, that God actually exists. But, you know... I'm no scientist. I'll let the professionals, you know, review all this. And, you know, if they say, hey, it's legit, fine, it's legit. But anyway, that's just my opinion. That's my realizing reality. Um, if you guys have any ideas or thoughts or, you know, you want to be part of this discussion, comment section is wide open for you. But please be respectful. Don't spread hate about this. But, you know, I got to get out of here. Video's almost done. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. But my name's Lil Wooly 618 and I'll see you guys later. Peace!